Good morning. I'm just going to get my computer up and running and clean up my mess. So welcome back to Sunday, last day of the Great International Craft Show for Mix 11. Um, we have another two classes today. So um, I hope you get to see them and if not, um, watch the replays. So uh, this is our first one this morning at 11 o'clock. I'm just going to get my waiting for you guys to hop on and get my notifications up, which hasn't arrived yet. And in the meantime, I'm going to just get it up and running. A bit slow, a bit like me. <laughs> Good morning, Juliana, Lorene, and Cody. Hi, hi, everyone. Um, welcome this morning to a class doing the um, one of the uh, bags from Astra and Anne. So, um, good morning, Suzanne and Maya. Hi, Kerry Lee. So, these bags are 62. They're a kit. Um, they are pre-kitted up with everything in them. So, all you have to do is add your decoration and sew them together. They are so easy. Um, and you can do whatever kind of colours or whatever you like. Whatever you like. You can cover the whole thing in Crazy Patchwork if you want to. Um, it's whatever you like. So... I've just got bits and pieces here. I'm just going to put them off so that you can I can show you what I have in front of me. Um, that over there. And I literally mean bits and pieces. I've just been cutting up little bits of scrap fabric in different shapes. And, and I'll show you what I mean. And it's really, really easy. So um, Some have um, adhesive on them and some don't. So... All right, I'm going to put the camera down and show you what I have and show you what's in them. All right, you ready? Welcome. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Internet is crap this morning. Of course it is. Ugh. It's crazy, isn't it? No, third world country, you'd think. All right, so let me just get that up and running. Come on, little internet, work with me. doesn't want to. Say no, I don't want to do that. Um, it's not going to do it. All right, I'll keep up with this. Okay, so in the kit you get, and I have one, two, three, four, five, plus this one. And this one will be for sale as well. So, but as decorated, like completely decorated. Um, good morning, everyone, says Julianne. How are you? All right, so in the kit, obviously, you've got the bag like this and it'll have the uh you know how cool am i looking and what look what you can do with it okay all right and in it it also has destruction so you can completely stuff it up no it's all good <laughs> what you won't stuff it up it's very easy to do with instructions it also comes with morning or stormy here so it might drop out no other no, no other no worries heather um it also comes with the two handles and they are leather not um artificial leather they are real leather okay then it also comes with the front um, and back in one piece and it has the zipper pocket already in there nice and here are the sides and the sides already and and the, they already have these in for for you so you don't have to do them either they're all done and same with the sides okay so it's all set up and it's made from um, uh, wool uh, felt. So it's nice and thick and it's beautiful to sew on. So this is the front and what I've done, it also comes with uh, your clips so you can sew them on. You can, uh, they're your magnetic ones, or not your magnetic ones, I suppose they are magnetic. They do, yeah they are. Um, anyway, so it comes with those as well and I've already got mine clipped in place ready to stitch on. Um, and by doing that, all I had to do was actually fold it, find the center, and uh, there, there it goes. I've just clipped it on, just ready to sew. Then it comes, if you want to do the hand sewing, it comes with this. It's going to be a great size bag. It's going to be huge. So it's, I'll tell you what it is when it's finished. It's 15.4 um, by 13.8 inches. 
um, and six inches deep so it's quite a good bag um, then it also comes with pins so if you want pins so the only other thing I've added is some fabric for decoration and a little bit of this stuff which is like a mesh um, so that's I've added that as well and I've got some scrap um, what do they call it oh, what do they call it um, cork yep brain's not working woke up thought it was uh, Monday today and I'm like cool the girls will be here and then I realized hang on it's Sunday <laughs> I've got classes all day oh dear um, I think I just got a message from Claire so if Claire's on I will answer that after the class so that's what's in the bag and then you get to open it open it all out and then read your instructions and the first thing the instructions will tell you to do will be to put these on okay and you can decide which one you want to go where and then of course we're going to embellish so first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the machine and I'm going to actually sew that on by the machine and I'm going to do that free motion fingers crossed she works nice for me and um, hope for the best so I'll see how it goes I haven't done it on this machine before so that could be interesting we'll see if it plays nice with me um, I do have black thread on so I'm just going to take my applique mat off there, pop that there, and move the camera around to get my cold coffee out of the way. Let me do that, and just a little bit further. And how much is the kit going to be, Michelle? The, these kits are 62 for this bag. It's a pretty big bag though, um, and everything's in it, like I say, except for your decorating stuff, which obviously... Um, oh, lots of zeros there for Joan Coker. <laughs> Obviously, um, you've sat on the keyboard. So I'm just going to zoom that in so you can see me stuff this up. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you want one completely made up it'll, and decorated like I'm decorated, I was looking at the Geeks classroom. Oh, I'm here. Making a top for my Yazi bag today. Nice. I'm doing one of them the Sardo. All right. So let's see how we go. Um, I might actually grab one of those pins that they gave me because they are big and they will hold that. And again, that's leather. So I'll just pop that in there. Come on. In and out. There we go. See, I don't know whether that foot will let me, so I'll try. I might lift it up a bit, let it loose so it won't jam on there and carry on. There we go, a little bit higher. Come on, let's tighten that back up. Yeah, because I want to be able to move it out from under there. Are oh, you decorating one too? Are you, Jenny? Oh, cool. I'm just going to put my eyeballs on because without them I'm pretty useless these days when I'm sewing. I'm going to be in between classes doing a few orders and decor um, and uh, doing a, um, what they call it, um, a quilt. Mm, yes. Alright, so let's just pop the needle down and let's go gently. Can take that out now and because I've lifted up my foot on my free motion foot I can go over the top of that clip just don't sew on it because you'll smash your needle okay let's just cut that off okay. trim that you will have on the outside of your bag the little stitching there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but personally, I'm not really worried about that too much. And you can always decorate that. Mm, yep, you can. Let's turn her around to the other side. And I'll pin that in, take the clip out. Come on, in we go. There we go. In and out, in and out. It's got holes, so 
would you would oh absolutely yes i've done these many times on an ordinary machine absolutely darling um yeah and most i will always tell you if it won't work on an ordinary machine so yes that's the answer to that is a definite yay so i've done it with the free motion foot on an ordinary machine and no problem Okay, and we'll cut that off. Just trim that right up. Don't cut off your knot. And then take that one out. All right, so that gets those two sewn together, just like that. And now they clip in. Beauty, hey? There you go. Um, and to get that sitting nice and straight, I lined all, all that up. Okay, so you've got your holes there so you can line up and your top of your, your bag. So let's move this camera back around and out a bit. And yeah, it makes it look really easy. Uh, look at Michelle's rings. Now I know where all my money has got. God, good on you, Linda. I've had them for years. Honey, I worked hard for those rings, don't you worry about that. I buy my own stuff. I've had them since I was a florist or before. All right. Okay, so now you can decide whether, well, this is going to be, say, my front, this one, um, and that's going to be my back. So if you wanted to, you can decorate over the top of that, but I find that, you know, you can... You know, I don't really, it doesn't really bother me to have that there. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I just leave that. I always decorate just the front. That's enough for me. Um, so I'm going to, I know that this is the bottom where the bag sits. Okay. Because it's already folded for me, which is great. Hasn't got time to go shopping, no. <laughs> Not anymore, yeah. When I was young, I was, I had, I was working in a, well, young, younger, um, working at a florist and right next door was a jewellery shop didn't I go there and one missing the spiral one yes yeah, so I've got to go and get that fin fixed um, it's still in my handbag uh, so yeah, earlier I actually um, sent myself a photo so I'm going to get it up um, on my computer because I decorated this I sort of preset it up and so that um, I would have it ready for you. So let me just adjust that camera a little bit more. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to, um, now I've got it that way. Yep, I can see what I've done. All right, so I wanted to actually see how I set it up earlier. So what I did was I've got some of this, which is just a mesh. I do sell this stuff. Um, it's really quite um, good and easy to use for this sort of project. Um, you don't need to put adhesive to it, but you can if you want to. It makes no diff. Um, and I think I just had it sort of sitting around about there and that one about there. But underneath them, good good morning, Evelyn. I had this one here. I have a bit of black. And I popped that on an angle across it. Oops. Got a circle there as well. It does fall apart a little, but with the stitching it'll be fine. Um, and then I put the squarish sort of rectangly square one underneath this one, but on an angle and just like that. Um, sort of crossing over a little bit and this funky looking shape, I popped it under here, just like that. And I popped that there, somewhere like that. Um, now you can go ahead and just sew this down, which is probably what I would do. And with that, because we were given all these pins, I can just chuck a pin in here and there. Yep, that's enough to hold it. And all I have to do, it's getting caught on me. All I have to do is um, stitch down around the edges. I don't have to do anything crazy. Um, nothing, you know, extravagant. I just have to stitch. So I'm going to do it free motion because um, for me that's easy. You can do it with a walking foot if you want to um, or just a normal foot. I find a walking foot would probably be easier with this because the wool is so thick. Um, it's very, very um, 
sturdy wool, uh, which I like. So there, there and there. So just a couple of pins just to hold it in place. And I'm going to just take that to the machine. And I'm going to fold this up. Oops, it is. I fold this other part. I'm just going to roll it up just so it doesn't flick everything around everywhere. And I'm going to just adjust that again. There we go. And I'm going to clip that down. I've got my screwdriver out because I'll probably change. Well, I have to change back. And I'm just going to clip down those sides, just all this back bit, just so that I can sew it without it sort of, you know, knocking everything off perch. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. And I do have a whole heap of stuff there. Um, all those layers, it must be colder. Yeah, it's freezing, everyone. My hands are like ice. Yeah. Um, and talking about that, I did have my gloves here a minute ago. Where have I put those little babies? Oh, there they are. Even with this free motion, I will still put my gloves on. Um, I just don't take the chance that I could do more damage to my wrists the way they are. So let's turn my sleeve up. There we go. So I'll just pop these on while you're waiting. And lifting up that foot a little will also allow for this stuff to go under. Okay. So on this machine, it has a setting that um, I can. Okay, it's got a sensor, but they don't come with that anymore. Apparently, um, it became an issue of safety. So let me lift it up again. So um, needle down. Well, it might not now because I've cut off. There we go. Um, Evelyn, thinking that too, I've got some address on here. <laughs> I wish. All right, so all I'm going to do is just stitch around the outside edge of all this just to hold it in place. Um, and with this mesh sort of stuff, you might need, just depending, you might need to do a couple of stitches across the centre way of it, all right? So, so just a bit of raw edge applique, and like I say, it doesn't have to be swish, it just has to be stitched down. Not like you're going to throw it in the, in the washing machine, is it? Three layer day in oh yeah, it would be, yeah. Yeah, a bit like that here. Definitely three layer day. And then come up here. As you probably can't see because of that thing, I'll try and move it. And just come up to where I started, back down. And you can see some of that will stick up a bit. If you've got an open toe foot, it can make it look quite difficult to sew. It is easier to sew with a closed toe foot. And I'm just gonna stitch around other side of this and I'm going to come back it gives it a little bit of a stitch in the middle I'm going to get that needle pin out I don't need it there and I don't want to run over it and I'm going to come back over here and down so I can do over here um, I'm just going to move my camera and zoom it in a bit so you can see a bit better okay there you go and off we go. So my foot might be a little bit high now, which could make the stitching a little bit khaki, but I'll let it down a little. And tighten it up. So this one, I'm just sewing that little bit of black underneath. I'm going to pin this one up here a little bit, just so it doesn't crease and carry on. And just remember where that is, because you so don't want that to, um, you don't want to stitch over that because it's a metal and it'll snap your needle like an awful mess and could send the timing out on your machine. Hey, get under. 
I've used this before. I don't know if you remember. Some of you might not have known me then. But I've used this before on another bag type. Um, very similar to... Oh, I might even... I don't know if it's the same. But, and I actually did some cut out... Some uh, fussy cutting of the um, Waratahs. That looked really, really good. Okay. So I've got those stitched down. And I'm going to just do these ones over here. So I'm trying to keep it so that you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so just get your both fingers on either side and make sure that you keep that um, mesh down as best as you can. I know it's hard to keep down, but, but whatever you decide, I mean, you can put lace on it, ribbon on it, fabric on it, whatever you want to. It's your bag and whatever you do is okay. Your colorway, everything, okay? You can put another layer of whatever and quilt it if you want to and cross hatch and all sorts of things. You can do whatever you like. So I'm just going out, just grabbing those sides of that stuff. I'm going to go around Can you grab it? Yep, there it is Not today, so it's a wobble I'm going to go back and make that look like it's meant to be wobbled I'm going to come over here and you can see I move it around to suit me um, you know, it's all good and well to be stitching like this, but I want some. I want it to suit me. Oh, the Waratah was gorgeous. Yeah, that was really nice. I actually really like the Waratah. That was quite quite a nice one. Um, and I think there's a black Waratah. So coming back over. And then I'm going to come up here and then I'm going to stitch this edge of this down. We don't want that flapping around. Wait. Stop doing that. <laughs> and I'm going to come up the side. And that's all stitched down. Now, I'm also going to add some other, I think I missed this bit, and I'm going to stitch that down as well. So I might go back up there, actually, just before I... I'm going to do this lock here, just to go through the centre. Alright, now, um, I'm now going to um, decorate, so... Um, morning debbie morning 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 um, i'm going to grab those little bits and pieces that i had cut so i do have some with the Velisa fix on them i don't don't have to use it but i thought well might as well so i'm just going to grab i think the black ones go down pretty much first so i've got my iron going Just going to grab these little fellas, bring them over where I'm working. Just over here. And bring my iron over so I can see and reach. I'm going to pop the heart. Come on. Pin will work much better than the fingers. Okay, that one's going to go here, and that'll help stick some of that down too. I'll just place that on top, and it should be fine. It should stick down. It takes a couple of seconds. All right, and then the other one is over here somewhere. So I had a little bit left over from the, the little bag demo with the cork. 
So I thought I'd use some of that as well. Um, it's going to go there. It's going to go there. Whoops. Oh, I lost my picture. That one could go there. This one can go here. And this one. Can go there. Okay. I'll just iron those on. Sort of acts like its own wool mat, doesn't it? Okay, so they're on. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to get rid of this rubbish. Just move that out of the way. Over there. Now I've got all these other little bits and pieces, and some of them are literally, I've just cut a shape out of leftovers. So after I've cut the hearts and that, I've just gone, yeah, I'll just cut this shape as well. Um, so that one there has that one on there is like that, and that that there, and that one there. I probably it's a little bit different to what I did first time around, but that's okay. So I'll pop that there. So I'm just going to glue them on. And even though you glue them on, you still need to stitch them down. This glue is only designed to hold down until you stitch. Okay, so don't sort of think that because you've glued it, that's it. You have to. That's that's done, done and dusted. It's not that at all. That's not the case. So any of these little adhesives, even a glue stick, they all need to be sort of glued down properly and stitched down. Sorry. You smell the cork. And some don't have a hole like all covered in the glue, so some might look like they're lifting, but they're all good. Um, this one here, just a random shape. So my needle's still in the down position. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't lifted it up, just leaving it there. And uh, I'm going to um, just continue sewing in a minute. So it makes it really, really quick to decorate. You could also use a panel if you had a panel of some sort, you know, like those cat panels, that sort of thing. I'm going to pop that on there. Do it all like that. Um, all those things, anything really. The, tr the trims that you've been buying, you could use them as well. They're perfectly doable on this sort of thing. You can use this. Um, this could be a good gift for someone for Christmas. Uh, someone who doesn't sew, you could have it already done in their colours. And um, and under a hundred bucks, so that's really good. And you get you get to use some of your scraps, <laughs> which is what we like to do. So yeah. And one more. Like I say, you can make it as busy or as, as not busy as you like, yeah? I'm just sort of doing the random thing. I sort of, you know, that's just me. Any questions at all? Anyone got any concerns or questions at all? Good morning, Jimmy. Sorry, I was cutting out, and good morning, uh, Jimmy. Sorry, I was cutting out some toiletry bags my daughter wanted. Nice. It's all right. You don't have to apologize. You can always watch it on the replay. It's no big deal. Just move my iron out of the way. And now it's time to actually sew it down. So, 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 let's, um, let's just start with the first one that's closest to me. So, literally, just travel along. Same way we have before, and just stitch it down. 
And yes, you can do this all on your standard sewing machine. Okay. You can do a couple of rows around, which makes it look sketchy, which I love. Love sketchy looking stitching. Come back over and do your heart. And do make it sketchy. Make it look funky. Wow. A couple of times around. One more. Good luck. And none of those stitches are joining or touching each other. And then just travel over. And do a couple of times around. And then just travel down to the next one. around that one and we're getting close so uh, getting lots of ideas from you that are listening oh good good I'm um, just going to do this triangle and again just make it sketchy looking not too neat don't do neat okay, not this one and then just travel over here Do a heart. A couple of times around. And then we're going to travel up over to these circles. Da -da -da. So over here, around, and around there. One, two, three, and off we go to the next one. One. Travel over here, triangle, two and three, and let's just travel over here, a couple of lines along that one, there and there, just look, make it look like it's meant to be. so fast is because it's industrial you could go a bit slower on your machine and I've got a couple of things over here I'm having fun doing the decorating nice um, I am doing that are you cool I'm just gonna travel over here because I can and do these ones one two and three there we go travel down here do this part I don't know what that was it just dropped on there no idea. We'll just stitch around it. Number two. And number three. Three always looks good and it's a good number. Takes me back to my floristry days where we used to do everything in odd numbers. And the little triangle in the corner. And then come back out and do a couple of lines there. matching with everything else and she's decorated love that look at that how cool is that okay all right let me unravel it i have to change my um foot over and you'll be able to see what i'm talking about so that will be the front and it will sit like Let's go that up here. Like that. How cool is that? See? A couple of shapes, a couple of bits and pieces, and you've decorated. I like how that yellow stuff is so random. It's good, isn't it? Yep. I love it's like a lime green. Probably showing up yellow in the screen, but yeah, it's like a limey green. So um, yeah, with the pinkies and the and that sort of thing in there. So if you wanted to just cover that, I mean, there's plenty of ways you can do it. Me personally, I was thinking I might do one of these um, and see if I can get that to actually go in. But I might put a bit of black behind it. So I'm just gonna. Where's my black? Come on, where'd I put you? Oh, all the way over here. Here it is. 
So to keep in with the shape of things, the way things have worked on this so far, I'm just going to do a random shape. So, and this is why I say I had this and I've just sort of cut bits out of it and made it random. So, let's do those. So, random shape. Like that. And enough for me to stitch on all this the other stuff so that I don't sew on actually on that metal bit I don't want to sew on that so let me just do that take the paper off this is sort of an add-in I decided I want to do this now um, as you do so the center bit is there I just want to make sure I miss that I just want to iron it down for a sec pop that down and I'll give that a quick stitch down thanks and I'm being a little bit more careful on this one just because I know there's metal in there and I just don't want to hit it still going around those couple of times go now I'm going to put this on because I can do that um, so I'm just going to figure out where it's going to sit center I'm going to put my little thing through it I need to mark it mark it so my clip is there I'm going to go below it I think or maybe on top mm -hmm. maybe there all right so I just need that there and that one about there. I hope to Christ I'm straight. Okay. Or oh, I could put it on an angle on purpose. Let's just do it. Let's just make it work. I love these scissors. They're so sharp. All right. That one there. And where did I put that one? Oops. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. Did I go straight? Sort of. Make it straight. Oh my god, Father! Live designing on the run, my life theme. Yeah, look, I've got Michelle Spanwing on there. I know it's amazing. All right, so decorated, ready, and ready to go. Nice, happy nerds. <laughs> don't tell me it's crooked, I don't want to know. Okay, so now we've got that completely decorated. Me, personally, don't care about the back of it. No one's going to see it anyway, and I don't care if they do. So, let's move on to the next bit. Now, in the instructions, it tells you to find the centre pieces, the centre mark of the top of these, or the bottom, I should say. So, your holes are up there, that's your top, that's um, your bottom. I think that's how it works. Yes, it is. So what they want you to do is um, mark the centre of the base gusset. This is the gusset pieces. And pin the pieces to the bag piece, matching the centre marks on the base of the bag. So earlier I also marked the centre. Obviously, that really is what I created earlier. Here it is here. Not the base. Yeah. So I marked it here. Making sure I did, yep. And I also, the smallest things in life give us joy. <laughs> they go, grassy stuff is super effective, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah, I've got it in different colours. I'll, I'll show you. I'll grab the basket out at the end. Just remind me. Um, and you just pin that along. And we basically pin that there. And that's what these big pins are designed for. Um, Where are they? Mini. I can't reach. <laughs> And that one there, and that one there. 
So you've basically done the hard part, okay? So just so you know, you've done the hard part. You've decorated, that's the hard part. This is the easy part, trust me. I'm just making it look hard as per usual. All right, let me get some more of those pins where they put them. Oh, there. Um, uh, yeah, this one you don't turn inside out. Trust me on that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm pinning the top, pinning the sides, sorry, pinning the sides together. Make sure I've got that right. Put that one on there. Just make sure I've got that right too. I'm just going to have a struggle. Actually, I might turn that off. Use clips, they'll hold. You should. Okay. Clips and pins, whatever suits. Let's make sure that this side. Oh, okay, so it isn't even. Let me just remark my centre one. That's good that I checked that before sewing. Hey, let me just check that again. Okay, there it is there. Oop, lost the pin. Yeah, I thought I had it there. line these up do it the old-fashioned way sorry Michelle came in late but did you give instructions at the start about cutting out bag came in on the full part of decorating Judy this is actually a kit so I will show you that a little bit when I sh when I get to the end but this is actually a kit pre-cut for you so you don't even have to know how to do that which I like there try again The kit's 62, and then you just decorate accordingly. No worries. And it comes with all the handles, the, the zippers already put in for us. We don't have to do that. All we have to attach is these little clips here, magnetic clips, and decorate the front. And then we can... Uh, so together and she is done and dusted love these kits um, and some clips oh, more clips love clips Let's go this one way around. and you don't even have to turn it inside out if you do decide to put a, um, um, a lining in or something you will then have to do that you will have to um, you know do the turn inside out thing but you could do that after the fact um, just make sure that's even up the top there there we go and let's do the other side And it's quite big it's quite a big pack you can see it's grabbing stuff and moving things and <laughs> all right there we go being strong again today here i don't know how you guys are going where you are and what the wind's like but we've had some strong windy days better so I did notice that when I was pinning it earlier it wasn't even and that's what made me double check so always double check yourself just in case so that looks much better and yeah you sew this uh, wrong sides together which is crazy to think of um, so a couple of people thought that I was doing it wrong because I have been known to do that um, <laughs> 
but yeah. So just pin her down. Not this time. No, no, no. I got it right. I'll just cut one there. I'll not get a clip. That one there. Is it calm and nine degrees with showers? Oh, jeez, I wish it was here. Calm. I think it sends everyone nutty, the wind. All right, so that's one. And now I'm gonna do the other one. So I'll just refold that and find the center because that would be super awesome if I had that right to start with. Okay. And just realign that up. Make sure I've got my center there, pin. And how good was Gidget with her, her online class, hey? How cool was that? She's a good girl. Um, I'm glad she did that. All right, so that's my center bit there. Listen, get out of the way. <laughs> All right. This is where you need six hands, three thumbs, and a foot on it. But other than that, she can do this. Are oh, you doing it now? Oh, Wendy back a smash blowing a gale. Okay. You're doing it now, are you? Oh, Wendy, I'd love to see that up. Pop that up on the page when you finish. That would be awesome. Awesome to see. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Oh, I did encourage her a lot to do it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you reckon, you reckon? I said, yeah, absolutely. I said, absolutely. I said, show them how to do that one. And um, yeah, so it was a hit. I'm glad. Very, very glad. Makes me happy. Just got to alert the road. I see Hannah's been closed due to landslide, the third one in the early two weeks. Wow, nine is it 27 here? <gasps> now you're now you're pushing it. <laughs> Come on, Wendy, you can do it. Other people do, don't be frightened. We're all friends. There's no um quilt police on my page. As soon as someone shows the quilt police signature signs, they are booted off. I can guarantee you. So that one looks like it's a little bit out, so I'm gonna rejig from up here. I must have moved it when I did that. Oh, and it might have been me just pulling it around. Anyway, play this way. Come on. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was just me pulling it around. Roll another clip in. All right, let's go this side. Can, can we replay uh, uh, Gidget's cl uh, G's class? Uh, yeah, if you use as a pattern, could you use a leather look material? Yeah, absolutely, G. You can use this as a pattern and make as many as you like. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, and then you can put your own handles on it. You can just get some clips, some magnetic clips. Um, you can line it. You can do whatever you like, darling. It is yours in the end. Um, you can make it and then like make a pattern out of it first and make the bag and then you've got the pattern and the bag. Um, why not? Why not? The, the one thing I do like about it is that the actual parts inside of it are like real leather and things like that. So like the clips are, they have like a leather backing to them. They're not just a magnetic clip. They've got like a little thing to them. Yeah, it gives you means G. Okay. And the handles, like the, the straps are like, and I smelled them. I promise you they're leather. Nice leather. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so let's sew this baby down. I'll adjust the camera again. In that way. There we go. Move that out of the way because I'm bound to fling some things off the shelf at the moment. <laughs> Carolyn Ray came here yesterday um, to pick up some stuff. 
and uh, it was funny because the place is absolute pigsty and uh, <laughs> um, and uh, um, yeah I don't think she realized how busy we were um, it was a bit of a shock I think but um, she did she ended up going doing a little bit more shopping all right oh I've got the wrong foot on hang on <laughs> Let me change the foot. Uh, Michelle did say, did I? Oh, sorry. I meant to say, um, geez, not Gidgets. Oh, my God. Oh, my bad. Oh, Jimmy, sorry. Yeah, GG. Yep, yep. That was me. Sorry. The brain's not functioning. I've actually, <laughs> you know, that, that morning thing I had this morning where I, I, you know, couldn't figure out what day it was. I actually, um, I know I, I did, I did say I was going to look that up. And I did do that, and then I looked up a couple more. You know when you do the Professor Google search? So anyway, the next thing that I'm looking at it, I'm going, geez, I've got all the symptoms of sleep deprivation <laughs> and stress and anxiety and the whole kid caboodle. I'm thinking, holy crud. <laughs> all right. Hang on. Don't you get your fingers caught in there, Michelle? Hang on. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Hang on, I've got that thread caught up in there now. Of course I have. Get out. Okay. <sighs> she only said Gidget because I'm a pain in the ass. No. <laughs> Sounds like you. Yeah. Oh, look, I just did the Professor Google search. I know. Shouldn't do that. You know, I tell other people, don't do that. Don't do the Dr. Google search because, you know, the next thing you'll be dying of cancer. So I, I did I did it and I'm like, no, nah, I've got I already knew that. I already knew I was sleep deprived. I can't wait. I'm the first the the first couple of days of having time off at Christmas is going to be me sleeping. <laughs> I reckon I'm already planning it. <laughs> Two, three days sleeping. Um, no orders, no nothing, no quilting, nothing. And um Oh, I've got this red around the wrong way. Stupid woman here. And um, then after that, I'm so going to do some serious designing. I've got this company who wants me to send them my drawings so that they can print them onto fabric. And I need to get them into a high, high resolution thing. I just don't even have time. And they keep messaging me every bloody day. And I'm like, seriously, dude, you need to stop messaging me. I'll get to it. I'm busy. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, we just want to do it for you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do. Just now stop it. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm just going to hold that baby. Oh, hang on. And the other thing I need to do is put my feed dogs back on. And let's go some forward and backs. Oh, it's exciting. I'm going to have my own fabric range um, eventually. And it's all happening, girls. Um, next year is going to be huge. Wait, I'm caught. <laughs> now, if you want to, you could do a decorative stitch, like a blanket stitch around it, which you have on your sit-down machines. And that could look really, really nice. Or um, a buttonhole, if you want to do a zigzag, or whatever you like. But... Um, any kind of stitch like that so I know Sharon I know it's gonna be good isn't it so I'm gonna do lots of designing and um, those horse panels that I've got I'm planning on getting them onto bigger um, fabrics so and other drawings that I've done and paintings I've done So all I'm doing now is just watching as I go around that little corner. Just make sure I catch the back one as well. You can trim it down if you've given, you know, put too much in the corner there. Um, but yeah, we'll see when I finish. See how she looks. Oh, 
Um, they want me to do another quilting demo at the library at the next display they do. You are, you are, and you, and have been busy. Go you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Jimmy. That's maze balls. That's fantastic. Go for it. Do it. That's fantastic. Yeah, I know. Isn't it? That's crazy good. Like that's really, really good. Yeah. Um, I want you to know that my fingers are a long way away from that needle. That just looks like they're really close. Um, because <clears throat> it freaks me out having it too close. Oops, I just dropped a pin in there. That's going to be a nuisance. Come out. Where did you go? Oh, I dropped two pins in there. Oh, you stupid or three what the hell get out of there you don't belong in there vacate immediately because i know that i'll put my hand in there and i'll stab myself um yep i'm just reading the comments it's great news jimmy you should be very proud of yourself see any Anyone who says that you're not capable is on drugs. Amazing. Good on you. So then lock it up. I'm going to and fellow quilters come answer questions and tease me. <laughs> uh, you need a set of those hands. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yes, they're coming. They're coming. But they'll hold his phone. Um me or the or Jimmy need to set of those hands. Um, all right, that's one side done. Let's do the other, other side. And we'll take that out. Don't put that in the hole. Lift and bend and stretch. As you come around the corner here it sort of looks a little bit scrunched up but that's okay you can sort of have like a little scrunched up area as long as you catch those that those top and bottoms all right just remember to catch the top and bottom and if you stop make sure your needles in a down position that's my advice to you Jimmy, Jimmy could go mad and do a live one day to the group. How do, how do I, the group? How I do this wind? I have the technology. Oh, really? That'd be awesome. That'd be cool, as. My technology consists of a phone and, and a laptop. <laughs> that's, that's about it, buddy. Uh, and a I do have a camera, a video camera, but you know, um, I was doing really well with the video camera and then all of a sudden it just didn't want to work anymore. Pro like it does work, but it just didn't give a very good picture. Like it was, yeah, and I don't know what I've done. I've done something. I have to go to the camera shop and say, now fix it, I'm broken. Um, but I can't do any of that until after bloody COVID car stops carrying on. All right, done. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, mine does too, okay. All right, so let's zoom this right out so you can see what I'm doing. Come over here, down a bit, a bit more over here. This bag you are making, Michelle, was it already apart to sew together? Did, it ta did you take it apart? No, no. So I'll show you what it is when you start it. It comes as pieces. So that's it there. All done. Chin, chin, chin. Then you've got handles. Handles. And these have like a strap. So 
you you go hang on let me just see what they've done now oh yeah they've done from one side so you go the side ones let me hang on let me make sure i get it the right way so that way oh geez i hope we bloody do oh we've gone the wrong way again you dear no oh, come that way um i'll tell you what um pat i i'll be cracking it if we don't No, you're a deal, Michelle. I had it the right way. Okay, in we go. Uh, you can tell it's leather because it's bloody thick. Okay, not as thick as some. All right, so then you can adjust. Look like rain. They do a little bit like reins, yeah. And then they feel like reins. They're stiff. <laughs> it's leather. All right, so... One, two, on the third one down. Okay. So we go in the back way, up there. Whoops, me iron. I forgot about me iron being there. Um, in we go, and I've caught those two. In, one, two, third one down. In we go. <coughs> Come on. Stiff as brand new leather. All right, that's that one done. I did three year community TV and C31 learning all areas, uh, doing all areas, even on camera and in front of and behind. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I'm not qualified at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Definitely not qualified. Um, and then we're going to go from this way. Way. Yes, I have. And one, two, and third one down. Third, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, they do feel like horse reins. <laughs> they smell like them, the leather. And this one, through those two. There, like that. Like that. In there. One, two. And three, uh, and that goes there, like that, there, that, there, and oh, there we go. We have a bag. I love that. So, oh, me too. That's why I smelled it. <laughs> All right, that is a huge bag. That's like a real hold all, isn't it? And look, it's got my name on it. Um, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, it's crazy cool. Um, my first love has always been live community radio. You're very clever. I'm just trying to see if I can get zoom out any further, but I can't. So if I sit back here a bit, you'll see it. Mm, maybe not. So there it is. So there's the handles on it. They all come together as one thing. So, and then you can have this joined together like that. Just like that. There you go. Love that bat. Me too, Heather. First time I've made that. That is nice. I like that. I think that's the first time. Yeah, I think so. The other one I made is a bit different. Anyway, so that one there. Now that one is, I will tell you, it's called the Anna Large Tote. <laughs> okay, and it's $62. You get in that, uh, in that kit, you will get the instructions manual, the pre-cut felt bag. So these are all pre-cut and the pre-punched eyelets and zippered internal pocket, the magnetic closures, the leather handles, and the pins and needles to do it with. How easy was that? And the size is 15.4 wide, 13.8 high, and six inches deep. So I have, um, other than this one, so if you wanted to buy one already made, you're welcome to buy that one at 62. Um, and, um, you make it look so easy. It is easy. Oh, honestly, Julie, this one is so easy. Um, yeah, but I'm liking the fact that that is done. And you open it up and you've got a bag. God, that'll hold a lot of stuff, wouldn't it? That could be my new handbag. Um, <laughs> could I please grab the bag kit, Louise? Yeah, absolutely, sweetheart. Yep, I'll pop your name on it. Uh, 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 where is it? Texter. Um... Ah, oh, there it is. And 
and if you um can i have a kid please all the same color um hang on let me just have a look at the comments and stuff let me go back into my computer and see if i can get this up and running for me um, let me pop louise's name on here All right, I'm just waiting for my computer to do what it's supposed to do. Yes, Julianne, yeah, you could. Um, you would need to line it, um, Julianne Masika. You could put those little doodars that you got the other day, if anyone got those, a little feet, um, and you could put a, a bag bottom in it. You can line it. You can do whatever you like to it, really. In the end, it's your bag. Um, this is just giving you a skeleton, um, and the rest is up to you. I love I love it and because it's all sealed off you don't have to and you don't even have to turn it inside out and if you wanted to put lining in you could actually do it so that you then run a, a, a you know like a, a stitch around the top and you have I love the demos on the kitchen <laughs> thanks Sharon um, yeah but what colors only gray yes it's only gray um, and then you just decorate how you like yeah yeah, they only come in grey. Um, let me just get my thing up here so I can see on my computer because it's a bit hard to read on the, the phone. Yeah, they look fantastic. Um, come on, little computer. You can do it today. Today, mate, today. Um, yeah, so any questions at all? Anyone else got any more questions or anything they'd like to ask about it? Or Yeah. Oh, I can smell that from here. The leather. It's amazing. <clears throat> just trying to get this thing up and running. It's just been really, really bad. Really bad. Internet. Connected, secured, and all good. All right, well, then do what you're supposed to do. And load. All right. I'm going to close it and reopen. All right. So let me see if I can go. Um, and what colour of the green? Oh, yes, I'll show that now while I'm waiting for this computer to do what it's supposed to do. And I'll get those orders off the computer. Hang on. Oh, my God, it's the wrong way. Wait. Hang on. So, yeah, my computer's just been a poo. And what colour red stuff? All right. So I have that one, which is the one I, sh I used. Okay. And basically what I've got here is all I've got of it. And then I've got this, which is the olive. Would you believe I'm t making toilet roll holders? I could be believe when asked I got this. <laughs> and I do have another full roll of that. Then I've got the hot pink, um, and I've got another full roll of that, so plenty of that one. Then I've got the red, got another full roll of that one, so that's really good too. Then I've got white, but that is all cream. That is all I've got, that is. Would be good taking some to my, of my projects to have a doctor's appointment to do. That's a great idea, Jimmy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's, the, that's all I've got. And then I've got purple, and I've got another bolt or roll of that one and that that's it um i can't even remember i've had it for a while i can't even remember where i got it um the computer's still being a poo so i'm just gonna disconnect connect it's the wind it's been a poop oh sorry uh th they're three dollars like um a meter like they're really cheap, and four dollars a meter or something. I think it's really cheap. Can I have a kit with the hot pink or purple, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Heather, Heather Wallace, Heather Wallace. Just 
my computer still being a poo. Um, bear with me. Um, pink and purple. Um, I can cut off, I think it's about, a fat quarter is about three bucks worth. It's quite, or oh, half a metre. I think it's half a metre. I've got, uh, from memory, I think. Let me have a look at the size. <laughs> have a look. I got one that was already cut and these are $3. Yeah. It's like 30 centimetres is $3 or something. $2, something like that. It's not, they're not very expensive. I'm not going to eat your eyeball now. Play with something. A little bit of dust. Alright. Anyway, I'll work it out. I'll figure it out and I'll um, I charge accordingly. So, um, you know me, I'm not going to overcharge. If I do, I fix it. Um, I'm just trying to see where my post is. There it is. Um, just click that. Okay, so let's go play. Let's have a look at the comments. Come on. See if I can get those comments from before with the orders. Ah, oh, Judy Cartwright's. No, I haven't yet, Sue. So, uh, Janine wants one as well. All right, let me go. Um, I'm listening, Molly Shape. Da, 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 back. Hit please, but what colors only gray for gray? Yep, Heather Wallace, I've got, and Jude Vandermost as well. So, Jude and then Judy. Um, Jude, and then we've got Judy. Um, so let me grab a kit. I've got that one, and can I have a kit, please, from Jude? And then I have Judy Cara. I've got that. Um, da -ba -da -ba -dum, and because um, what I've got, I've got that one. Would you believe? Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Heather Wallace, I got. Um, it's okay, a lovely seam by Kirk Front. Oh yeah. Can I have a kit, please? Um, Janine. Yes. Um, oh, oh, Fluff. Janine. Oh, come on, Fluff. Get off. Yep. That's that one. And um, half a metre of the green, purple and red and bag kit for Judy. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to write that down because I won't remember. Oh, oh, oh. So, Judy is half a metre. Uh, the green, purple and red. Are you talking about the olive green? Um, yeah, sure, Janine. The kit and Kerry Lee. Mm. Kit Kerry Lee. Mm. Um, is it the olive green, Judy? Or the bright green? Oh, good, Sharon. I'm glad that worked. Can I get a kit and a fat quarter of each of the colours? All right. Mm, Kerry Lee. I oh, will probably have to order it. I'm also going to have some needle threads, please. I don't think I ordered them before. Heather Wallace. So, Heather Wallace needle threaders. They're good little buggers, aren't they? Um... Actually, let's make it all colours. Okay. So half a metre, all colours. And then I've got... Oh, double L. You dickhead. Sorry, I mean you dill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and there was also... Judy Cartwright. Is there. I've got Judy C. And then I've got here... Janine. Janine. Yeah, so it'll be 30 centimetres of each, um, each colour. Um, I've got that. And 
and needles. I think I ordered them. I got that and Sandy, yep, Sandy B, 30 centimeters of each, I think that is. Um, yep, actually, it's like all colors. Yep, I think I've got everyone. Did I miss anyone? Have I missed anyone? Um, Kerry Lee wants one of the bags, um, and a fat ball, so Kerry Lee. Um, 30 centimeters each color and that's the do, 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 mesh um, so Carrie Lee I'll have to order you one um, or let me have I'll have a look and see if I've got another one in there um, if I have I will pop it in if not it'll go in the next order but yes I'll get it all to you soon uh, won't be in the one that comes this week. It'll go into the next one. So, yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Um, there are other bags, and I'll do another demo of one actually another day. But, yeah, I like the fact it's got my name on it. Look how cool I am. I have a name on my bag. Mm-mm-mm. Nice. So, yeah. Um, there you go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. I and I look, I pretty much did that in an hour with it, with all the chat and, and everything. Take about twenty minutes off. Um, oh, I think I just got a message from Vanessa. Thank you. And I will talk to you guys. See you guys at one o'clock. And at one o'clock we are doing a. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I will have to have a look on my phone or computer. <laughs> but I'm going to be in the classroom at 1 o'clock doing a class. That's what I know and that's all I need to know until I get there. All right, ladies and gent, I will see you guys soon. Thank you for joining me. Um, yep, no worries, Kerry. I will talk to you soon. If someone wanted to buy the one already pre-made with more gnome on it, they're welcome to buy that at 62, all done and decorated. So you are welcome to that. Just let me know in a PM and I'm happy to sell it to you. Otherwise, it'll be bloody mine because it looks pretty damn cool and I'm liking it. <laughs> See you guys. See you at about one. Bye.